to the sideboard here in Atlanta one last time. I'm Nick Miller alongside our Atlanta Standard Open champion, Jacob Lively. Congratulations here. Thank you very much. The handshake comes a little bit of hardware. I can dig it. This is perfect. Soak it in, soak it in. Feels real good. Well, one thing, Standard metagame looks pretty solved right now. Green, white, megamorph all over the place. Yeah. You looked at Michael Major's list, I liked immediately it. immediately just assumed that it would be the best deck in the format. Uh, I wouldn't say the format's solved yet, but green, white to me seemed like the absolute best possible thing to be doing this weekend. Um, I guess I wasn't completely wrong. <laughs> a trophy would say you were pretty correct. Came down here with a bunch of your Next Ridge Games friends. Yep. We saw Bradley Carpenter made the open in the top eight in Indy last week. You had to play him in the quarterfinals. Yeah, good friend of mine. He's actually staying in my house right now. The whole crew was right there yep. enjoying your victory. Mulligan to five, game three. Yeah. The scry didn't even matter because you fetched. Yep. Didn't Hand did turned expect, out to be pretty good. Did not expect to win that game at all. Uh, but he stumbled on mana, got stuck on three lands for most of the game. I got stuck on two lands in game two. Sure. Uh, I would have liked to play more complete, like, interactive games, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Right, you wrote in your top eight profile, the power of this deck really comes from just playing almost no comes into play tap lands, being yeah. able to curve out. You saw that especially in game one, yep. where you're on the play, just able to curve out, there's nothing just, you can do. Yeah, I mean, even on, even on five cards uh, in game three, just having the ability to go Warden, activate Warden, play a threat, and just keep going and going and going. And the consistency of the mana base in the two color decks is absurd, uh, which is why we decided to throw two Archangel of Ties in the sideboard, which ended up being a surprisingly castable card. Yeah. Well, the mana was very reliant, and Warden of the First Tree, just a card that was very good last week, yes. even better this week. I mean, you had it, what, a 13 power 13, warden 13 there? 13 warden in the first tree. I've never done that before. That might be an SCG Live record. I could be mistaken. Andy Boswell's played the card a lot. Yeah. But uh, looked pretty good in your hands there. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the deck moving forward? Um, I know that a couple of people played it with an additional color splash, the blue splash, mm -hmm. uh, for things like Dispel and Disdainful Stroke. Uh, I'm not really convinced that that's correct. Um, I think that the two color is, is good. Uh, I ended up throwing two Gideon's Reproach in my sideboard uh, because you guys were actually sold out of Silk Wraps at the Everyone event. Everyone needed it. Yeah, uh, and it ended up being infinitely better than Silk Wrap. Um, I would probably move two of those to the main deck just because it hits more than Valorous Stance mm -hmm. and the uh, indestructible mode on Valorous Stance is usually not relevant. Um, so yeah, moving forward, I would add the Gideon's Reproach to the main deck, but very few other changes. All right, got to take down those Manus Riders somehow. Yeah. Gideon's Reproach is one way to do yes, it. Yes, it definitely is. All right, well, you put on a great run. Deck's great. Yep. You're great. Tournament's oh. great. Atlanta's great. No shucks. Congratulations one last time. <laughs> Thank you I'm very much. I'm going to send it back Jake. over to Patrick and Cedric here in Atlanta. All right.